Hey guys, welcome back. This is my second video I'm filming today, so if I look the exact same, it's because I just got done filming. But uh, I'm filming, this should be Tuesday's upload, so I'm filming Tuesday's video today because Tuesday is my first day back at school. So I don't think I'll have time to film it. Today's video is an eyeshadow palette collection. I mentioned before that eyeshadow is my absolute favorite thing and eyeshadow palettes are in particular and I'm doing this not only so you guys can see what palettes I have so you guys can request certain palettes for looks but also the way you can see the colors inside that we can you know request them on social media or in the comments on any of my videos I have a lot of palettes way too many for one person and most of them are high-end I hate that but if you saw my 2017 favorites, most of my face products that I use are drugstore and most of my eyeshadow stuff just are high end. I don't know why that is. That's just that's just how it is. Whew. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and let's go. Alright, first things first is the Hard Candy Look Pro Neutral Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really nice palette. And it has basic neutrals in it, but that is the glorious part of it. It is a really nice palette to travel with, and I have traveled with this palette before in the past. I took it with me to Daytona Beach, and because it is in this nice sturdy tin, nothing got broken, which is amazing. And I don't like how it reflects light, but it is a really cute tin. It has like little hearts on it. You can see that. It's really cute. So this palette is not available anymore. I know that because when I went to put it in my 2017 favorite video, I couldn't find it to link it down below. But I still have it. And if you guys do want to look with it or a look with any of the colors in it, I can very easily do that. This is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. It looks like this. I think I said in my 2017 favorite video that the only one I didn't like is the middle highlighting shade is just a little bit too powdery for me but the rest of the colors are really really nice if you can see them all there I really do like this I think the mirror is phenomenal you know like when you get a product you can see the paint splash on the ceiling if uh you know when you get like a product that has a mirror and it's like a really nice mirror that's what type of mirror this is and it's really really pretty but it is not available anymore so I won't dwell on I did a review on this. This is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I have more Too Faced palettes than anything. That is just your fair warning. They're just my favorite, so I have more of them than anything else. But this is what it looks like on the inside. It is a really small, warm, neutral palette, and that is just everything to me. Those are my favorite shadows to work with, and I'm wearing a warm eye today, but I'm actually not wearing this on my eyes. I'm wearing the Clover Palette by Too Faced instead. But um, this is a really, really, really nice palette. I think so... I think I said in my video that I really like this, and I do really like this. I have used it several times. I know some people said it's just nine shades. You can't really do a whole lot with it, but for me, I really don't need more than nine shades, and it's just super cute. Next palette is one I've actually used on my channel before. This is the BH Cosmetics Second Edition 120 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I used this for, I think, my all green Christmas look, and I said in that video that the trays do come out if you can... They come completely out. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It is massive. So I don't know if I can get it all in the shop. But this palette I've only used three or four times. I haven't used it very often. But um, it is a really nice palette. I like all the colors in it. That's the main reason I bought it. And I, I've only used it when I really want a real colorful look. I don't like how bulky this is though. It makes it really really hard to store in my drawer and I don't love that. Next is the Black Heart Pastel Dreams eyeshadow palette. This is actually my least favorite palette I own. I hate to say that. I just don't like this really at all. It's just really hard to work with. You, they, they're not pigmented. They're really really powdery and you just you can pack them on for literally hours and nothing really shows up. But... Yeah, I'll probably end up decluttering this because I just don't love it. This is one I love that got a lot of hate. This is the Pirates Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales Treasure in the Stars palette by Lorac. And the packaging is the compass. And if you open it up, it looks like this on the inside. A lot of people said they hated this, didn't get the color scheme. But I really, really like this. If you saw the post I posted on Instagram of the really warm eye with the dark Too Faced lip, this was actually what was all over my lid. The shade Treasure from this palette. And it was... 
stunning. I love this. I love Lorac shadows. I actually used only this palette when I went to prom and the, sh the eyeshadow look lasted all night and it was amazing. Next is another palette that got a lot of hate. This is the Too Faced Natural Love palette. This palette is not available on Sephora.com anymore, but it is still available on Too Faced.com. So I know a lot of you guys DM'd me on Twitter asking after I showed it in my 2017 favorites video. I did link it down below, but I guess some people just don't check the description box. But um, it is available on Too Faced.com if that helps you. This palette is super, super nice. I love, love, love this. It is just another neutral palette like a lot of people said. But I just, I personally love neutral eyeshadows. They're just my favorite to work with. And to me, you can never have enough neutral eyeshadow palettes. So I just love this so much. Next is the Disney Ohana Lilo and Stitch eyeshadow palette. This, my sister actually just bought me. And I did film a video with it, but the video didn't look right. So if I, if you guys want another video with it, just let me know like all my videos but uh, this palette was really nice uh, they aren't super pigmented but they're not they don't like pigmentation where you can't work with them they you do kind of have to use two or three different layers but that's not terrible it's only really the bright colorful ones like these two that do that the this shade right here in the middle stunning and I love that the mirror is stitched it's just so cute it's like the cutest touch that most people don't think about but it is super cute and I appreciated it Next is the last palette in this drawer actually is the Pure My Little Pony the Movie Palette. I did a review on this as well and I love this. If you saw the review you already knew that. But this palette is super cute. It has really bright colors in it but they're not so bright to where you can't use them. I love that about this. They are super super pigmented. Like I'll swatch Rainbow Dash for you. That's the blue. Yeah I love this. Love this and it's super small and really easy to store which is a huge bonus. This is the Lorac Pro 2. This is the cool toned sister out of the three and to be honest I don't use this palette very often just because it is cool toned but it is a really nice cool tone palette whenever I'm looking for a cool toned shadow I normally reach for this one. The mattes in here are phenomenal. The only two I don't like are Plum and Navy, which are these two. They're just a little bit patchy, but with a really nice eyeshadow primer, you can get away with it. But it is still a little patchy, just thought I'd let you know. And if you've never seen a Lorac Pro shadow, the top row are all matte, and the bottom row is all shimmer, which I absolutely love. And I love the shimmers on the bottom, because sometimes the shimmer can drip and, like, get everywhere when you dip a brush in. And with it on the bottom, it doesn't mix with the matte, which is a... Uh, Amazing. I love, love, love Lorac shadows. They are one of my favorites to work with. Next is one of my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Lorac Pro 3. If you've seen pretty much any of my favorites videos. I actually think I only have one post now that my account got hacked. But this made the first one, if you did end up seeing that before it got deleted. This was my favorite eyeshadow palette of the month. And it still really is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I absolutely adore this. It is a warm tone neutral palette, which is just my dream. This is everything, especially these two shades right here. Everything. Everything. I just dipped my finger into it. Oh, no. A lot of people did not like the shade Medallion, which is this glitter shade right here. Glitter shades typically do have a lot of fallout, so I understand where people were coming from. When they said that shade had a lot of fallout, I just pack it on with my finger and use a glitter glue as a primer, and it stays perfectly fine. So if you have this palette and you had that problem, I would recommend using a glitter glue. The only downside is it gets really dirty really fast, which I don't like. This is the Balm Nude Tude Palette. I did a review on this, and I haven't touched this palette since I filmed that review, which was months ago. But um, there's nothing wrong with this palette. It just doesn't excite me very much. The, the, blah, 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 blah. the colors are not that pigmented, so it kind of takes a lot more work than what I like to put into it. But... They are nice. I think it'd just be really good for a beginner. This would be really nice for an everyday eyeshadow palette. Not so much like um, I'm going out type of eyeshadow palette. Then one of my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. If you know me in person, you know how much I love this palette because I rave about it all the time. It is just stunning. The lighting in here is kind of washing it out a little bit. But it is gorgeous. I've used every color in here and I love them all so much. It's unbelievable and when I first got this palette I did not put it down for weeks and I've actually made a huge indent in the shades golden ochre and Bon fresco Bon fresco I don't know but I've made huge dents in those two and I never thought I'd hit like make a dent in this one but I have and it's just gorgeous and I love this I love that the package is velvet but like every little thing shows up on this mauve color which I don't like I like to keep my makeup clean 
This is the Anastasia Prism Palette. This is a really, I like look really weird peeking over the top, but this is a really nice palette. This is limited edition, but it is still, still available, and I love this. I love this. You can kind of see it better like that when I hold it up close. It kind of... But a lot of people did not get the sphere color right here. I've actually used that color several times and I absolutely love it. My favorite shade in this whole palette is Saturn, this warm orange tone. It's just everything and I'm obsessed with it. Throne is so pretty. I want to swatch it. I just can't resist myself. Girl. Girl, it is so pretty. I absolutely adore this and I'm so happy I picked it up. So if you are thinking about it, I would go ahead and grab it because it is limited edition. This is the Urban Decay Naked. This is the original Naked and I don't love the Urban Decay shadows. They're nice, but they're not my favorite. I don't really use them very often, but this one is my top favorite Naked palette that I own. It's just my favorite one because of the tones in it, but I, like I said, I don't use them very often just because they're not my personal favorites, but if you guys still want a video, I can very, very happily do that for you. Next is the Urban Decay Naked 2. This is my least used Naked palette just because it is super cool toned and there's not a whole lot of mattes in here. There's only three mattes in here and there's not a transition shade for me personally. But the shade Booty Call, which is this one right here, makes a gorgeous inner corner highlight. I'll swatch it for you. And if you have a skin tone similar to mine, you need to use this as a highlight because it's just gorgeous. But yeah, the Naked palettes don't really excite me. The only one that's really ever really excited me is the Naked Heat. And I don't own that one, but every time I see it, I want to like snatch it up because it's just gorgeous. Next is the Urban Decay Naked 3. I use this in my rose gold eyeshadow look and it is gorgeous. I love using the Naked 3. The shade Limit, I've actually almost hit pan on because I just love this so much, but... I broke the mirror out, which sucks. Next is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2. I do not love this. First off, I don't love it because of the price point. This is $20 at the drugstore, and that is just crazy for a drugstore palette. And the shades in here are really hit or miss. Some shades are really nice. Some shades are just complete duds, and I don't like them at all. But some of the shades in here, you can work with them, but it's just such a hit or miss palette for $20 from the drugstore that I would just pass on it all together. All right, my next seven palettes are all from Too Faced just because they're my favorite, and so I'm really sorry if you don't like Too Faced palettes, but um, yeah. <laughs> the first one is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. This is my least favorite Too Faced palette I own. I just, I thought I'd really like this, and I just don't. I feel like it's just not formulated the same as all the others. And so, I don't know. I'm thinking about just buying a new one and maybe just seeing what happened with this one because this one just isn't my favorite. It's not my cup of tea. But every time I swatch it inside Sephora, it looks different than mine. So I'm going to probably repurchase it and just get a new one and see maybe something's different. I've had this for about two years and... I don't know, I just, I don't love this as much as I thought I would. A lot of people like Colt favorite, but it's just not mine. My favorite eyeshadow palette ever, this is the original Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This started my makeup addiction going on three years ago, and I am still in love with this palette to this day. I use this palette all the freaking time. This is my ride or die makeup palette right here. This is just my absolute favorite. If I only could have one eyeshadow palette, it would be this one. Maybe this one it smells like chocolate. They're blendable, they're pigmented. It's gorgeous. The packaging's cute, and I am obsessed with this. I cannot explain enough. I bought one for my sister, and she really liked it. And I'm just, I love this so much. It makes me so happy. And it is $50, but it's worth your $50. This is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. This is what this one looks like. This is warm toned heaven, and I love this palette. I believe I used this in my. What was it? My Red Riding Hood look? I think I used this. Um, I can't remember, but I think it was this. I love this. And the highlighter in here, Butter Pecan. Girl. Girl. You can't even see it on my skin tone, but it is gorgeous. And I love this. I sit myself in the face. You guys guessed the Chocolate Bonbon palette? You would be correct. This is what this one looks like. It is so cute. The pans are heart-shaped. And I saw everybody talking about this when it first launched, but for about a year now, I haven't seen anybody talk about this. And I love this palette. Is it my absolute favorite? No. But is it still really nice? Yeah. And so many people used to rave about this when it first came out, and then, like, it just 
and it's been like dropped and nobody ever talks about the chocolate bonbons but it's just it's a really nice palette and i really like it i don't know why people don't talk about it next what's on my eyes right now this is the clover palette this has the cutest packaging by far of any of the palettes i own and this is what it looks like on the inside i absolutely adore this this is limited edition so i would highly 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 recommend getting it now because it is just so gorgeous and the shade best friends is a duochrome it is just life it's just everything and i am obsessed with this palette i actually i love everything about this it's so freaking cute and clover is all over it clover is jared's dog he's the owner of Too Faced, and he's just all over he's on the inside right there and he's just so cute i follow him on instagram this is another limited edition palette this is the Too faced white chocolate bar and this is what this one looks like on the inside i also really really like this the shades in here are really light i like the shade frosted apricot apricot whatever you guys say it's like this peach color gorgeous gorgeous that shade needs to be in this Too faced sweet peach palette but I love, love, love this. I know a lot of people hated it, but I really like it. I don't know. And last but not least is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. This is the newest chocolate bar member, and this is what it looks like on the inside. There are only four mattes, but the palette itself is amazing. I love this. I did a review on this as well, and I really, really, really liked it. All of my eyeshadow palettes, if you guys want a video on one particular palette or one particular eyeshadow, just let me know in the comments or on social media. You can DM me, uh, tweet me, I really don't care. Um, it doesn't matter to me. This video would be really helpful for you guys to know what I have access to currently. So if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video.